No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? I was crazy to let her come with me. She's trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course! Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I... I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Sure, no problem. Don't bother, I'll get it. Hello? Yes, this is Manfred's, but he's not available right now. Can you call back this afternoon? Thanks. Well. To old friends. <sighs> Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's a Stradelli, crafted in Venice in the 18th century. Mm. It's one of my favorite pieces. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Oh. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me.
thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. No doubt about it, it's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Oh my god! He's dead. Oh. killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. Prince too. Don't want her to be mixed up in this. Where did we leave Prince? Gotta remember. Fast. Quick. 
Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. The glasses. The telephone. What else? Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. Should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay, and that's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. What it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old times' sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it. You Scott. Taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We we're partners, remember? We had a deal. The deal's off. I changed the rules. Whether you like it or not, you're going home. And I don't want to talk about it. That's it. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I've got to find my sense killer. You're not going to stop me. Son is dead, Lauren. Getting yourself killed is not gonna bring him back to life.
It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Lauren! once again in my arms. Don't look him in the eyes. Just shoot. Shit, I can't. I can't. He opens up, I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. Come on, think of Sean. Think of Sean. Kill a man. I'm gonna kill a man to save my son. What kind of a choice is that? I can't just kill a guy in cold blood like that. Let's hope he's home alone. I never used a gun. How hard can it be? All I have to do is pull the trigger. I didn't come all this way just to stop now. I've got to go through with it. For Sean. Yeah? What do you want? Ugh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I said get out of here! You're gonna cause me trouble, and I don't like trouble. Fuck off! Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! <laughs>
man. I give you whatever you want. You got dope? You got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm not a murderer. I have no right to take this guy's life. I've got to kill this guy if I want to save Sean. I have no choice. We're both fathers, for Christ's sakes. I can't kill him to save my son. He's got a family just like me. How can I take his life to save my son's? This guy is just a lowlife who sells dope to kids. What's keeping me from killing this scumbag to save my son? The bastard tried to kill me. He was going to blow my head off. I don't know this guy. He means nothing to me. He's a drug dealer, just scum. He wouldn't hesitate for a second if he was in my place. I love Sean. Nothing and no one is going to stop me from saving my son. I can't shoot this man. There must be another way to save Sean. There's got to be another way. I have to shoot. It's his life or Sean's. Kill a man to save Sean. Could I look myself in the mirror after doing something like that? If I pull the trigger, I'll be taking this man's life. I'll be killing a defenseless man in cold blood. I can't kill him. I'm not a murderer. I'm a father too, but I'm no killer.